We're now standing in the Earth Room, mm -hmm. which is part of the Pretty Natural exhibition. And um, Brenda and I have specifically identified certain fossils and rock formations that are part of the collection here at the Natural History Museum. Brenda, tell us a little bit about these objects, please. Right, so we have um, a series of fossil plants from the Pennsylvanian period about 300 million years ago that showcase, um, one, some of our beautiful fossils, but also highlight the fact that the Earth has been around for a very long time. How many millions of years do you think these fossils represent? About 300 million. 300 years. million. Yes. It's pretty mind-boggling. Yeah, yeah. Those are the dates that I work in on a regular basis, so for me I can throw that out. But we can still see these plants when, when we go to the rainforest. Or, absolutely, or, yes. absolutely. So they're going to be different species, obviously, than what we see here, but ferns and large trees have been around in fully forested environments for hundreds of millions of years. Mm -hmm. um, they have a very long history that tells us a lot about the climate of the environment that they live in mm -hmm. because plants have very specific environmental indicators, mm -hmm. right? And we can use these fossils where we find them to reconstruct the environments of the past and that, help us to understand changes for today. Exactly, and that was a very important kind of like marriage between contemporary painting and something how many millions? I mean, yeah. many millions of years old, mm -hmm. and the effects of the relationship between the two. And so it's almost like you can go to the fossil displays, go into the paintings and say, oh, look, there is a fern, or there is a rock formation, right. or there is a piece of petrified wood that, you know, will show up along the Grand Canyon in Arizona. And so, you know, the, that is... That particular marriage was instrumental in creating this body of work and, and uh, the installation that we're standing in. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's, um, it's nice to see that some of these specimens come from this region of the United States where you mm -hmm. might not expect there to be, uh, you know, temperate uh, rainforest type environments that you would see maybe out in the Northwest or more of these types of redwood forests that we see that were once here in Indiana and Ohio and Illinois and Kentucky 300 million years ago. Mm -hmm. And that's really how scientists learn to reconstruct how environments change through time mm -hmm. in response to climate change. Mm -hmm. And as a direct link to what we're seeing in the modern today. So this historical deep time evidence mm -hmm. gives us a, a fantastic, very long-term perspective of what the changes are that you are seeing as you paint today. Mm -hmm. I know where I live. I live outside of Santa Fe. And so I look at the Galistea Basin. The basin, which now is no water, <laughs> but you can see by the configuration of the basin that it was, an un it was a sea at one point. And, uh, right. and fossils are uh, there to support that, that claim. And so what once was underwater, no longer, and now, given climate change and other factors, the seas are going to be taking back some of these land formations, right. islands and other areas. Mm -hmm. 